Now, if you think the holidays are a big deal out in the world, you should see what the holidays are like in the Christian community. Because lately, a lot of Christians have been saying, Hey, we do not want to do anything that is pagan. Forgive me. You see, there's a really cool thing that happens among super spiritual, highly educated people. They're like secrets. We used to call these secrets occult. But they don't like that word, because that word is uh, pagan. So what they call it is revelation. And so they study all these revelatory books, and they realize that a lot of customs and traditions and things that they do aren't really grounded in uh, what they call the Word of God. So, what happens is, a lot of people get really uptight and start going, Well, I'm not even going to celebrate Christmas this year because I don't think it's godly. And everybody goes, Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Share your knowledge. What is God's secret, unpronounceable name that nobody can pronounce? Tell me! And tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> so you got non-Christians saying, We shouldn't celebrate this holiday because we don't believe in it. But even though we don't believe in it, we still want presents. So we'll give you one, you give us one. Then you got Christians going, Christmas isn't about presents. It's not about all the commercialism, and it's not about all the decorations. Yeah, we want all that stuff, but that's not what it's about. It's about Baby J, you know? It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. So uh, what it boils down to is this. If you don't believe in God and Jesus, you probably don't care about Christmas, but you might still celebrate it. If you are a Christian, you probably celebrate Christmas, and you celebrate it as the birth of the Lord, but you still enjoy the other trappings with it because it's kind of fun. And if you've got some convictions against Christmas because you studied its pagan origins, like everything else, hopefully you don't use the names of the days of the week. That would be confusing at work, wouldn't it? Oh, well, happy Monday, Bob. You mean happy second day, you pagan? <laughs> and if you're keeping Sabbath, you got to keep it a specific day or you're not really keeping Sabbath then shouldn't you be keeping Sabbath when it's actually Sabbath in Israel? Because on a different hemisphere, you're actually not keeping it on the same day. You're kind of creeping into another day anyway that doesn't... Uh, or do you do it by the lunar cycle? So many questions. So many questions. There's a lot of reasons that you probably shouldn't celebrate Christmas. There's a lot of reasons you probably shouldn't use a microwave. There's a lot of reasons that wearing clothes probably isn't good for you. Yet somehow when I'm sunbathing, the neighbors are always screaming at me to put some back on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, talks about an evil Christmas tree. No, it doesn't. It talks about fashioning a tree into an idol. Do you think the disciples would bring a tree into their house? I think the disciples probably lived out in the trees most of the time. Since Billy became a Christian, he quit celebrating blank. Chanika. <laughs> I don't think that you're partying with demons if you're celebrating Jesus coming into this world. No matter what day you choose to celebrate it, one day might be more holy to one person and less holy to another. But what we have to do is we have to regard each other. If you're offended by Christmas, I'm not going to buy you a tree, and I probably won't send you a Christmas card. Thanks, you just saved me about 50 cents. But if you're not offended at Christmas and you want to party, let's have some fun. Because I don't live by fear. I live by faith. Faith has set me free from being bound by fear. Here's what I believe. I didn't die on a cross. Um, I tried to be righteous, but all I was was self-righteous. And it really came down to this. It came down to the fact that if I wanted to be free from my fears and my sins 
and my transgressions, the only way I could be free is to put my faith in what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And the only way God could be happy with me and that I could have a relationship with Him is when I come to Him out of faith. If I come to Him out of fear, I'll never reach Him. I'll never stick with it. You see, if I celebrate Christmas, I'm not celebrating pagan traditions. I'm not celebrating what somebody did at Saturnilla. I'm not celebrating Mithras or the sun god. I'm celebrating the birth of my Messiah. And I'm doing it by faith. I'm not doing it because everybody else is doing it. If you're confused about the issue of Christmas, I challenge you to read Romans chapter 14. It'll shed some light on things for you. And ask yourself this, who does Paul refer to as the stronger brother, and who does Paul refer to as the weaker brother? I believe that everything we do in our lives, we have to do by faith. Because Jesus doesn't necessarily judge us on our actions as much as he judges us on our motives. If you're greedy and all you care about is materialism and material wealth and getting presents, then you probably shouldn't celebrate Christmas because your heart's not in the right place. And if you're worried that uh, maybe some traditions could slip in and, and you could be led astray by them, then stay away from it. If your flesh is weak, then your flesh shouldn't be celebrating things that are going to drive you nuts. But if you feel good when you hear a Christmas song, I don't necessarily think that that's a tingling in your soul from Satan. And if candy canes, gumdrops, and white snowy sidewalks with sleigh bells ringing in the snow make you all giddy, well, I don't necessarily think that that's the devil throwing his pitchfork into your heart. I think what you need to do is you need to just focus on Christ. If every day we would focus on Him and try to live like Him, this world will be a better place. We should always focus on the fact that what we're celebrating when we do celebrate the first advent or the first coming of Christ, no matter when it was, we're celebrating that God's love was so strong for us that he entered the realm of human history in order to live a sinless life, that he could give that up to redeem us and reconcile us with him. Thank you.